All right, what's up guys? So I wasn't sure if I was gonna record this or not. And then I realized we were kind of doing big things. So I figured maybe we should record it because it'd be rude to you uh, if I didn't record it. So just to uh, give you a little insight on what's been going on, um, let me flip this around real quick. So the big old box with Russian letters on it. Uh, don't talk about our uranium. The uranium. <laughs> so our guys over at my Subi parts um, sent us the bumper I have been wanting for like at least four years now. And so it needs some cleanup and stuff, but uh, you're probably asking how the hell this is going to work with my Outback. And what I'm gonna do is try my hand at fitting this to the Outback flares. So I've got them all mocked up here how I want them. I've got to cut them um, and then find a way. What is going on here? Got to cut them and then find a way to plastic weld and then fill and blend them into this bumper, which some might say is a travesty, but uh, <laughs> you're ruining this, ruining this rare JDM bumper. Um, but I'm just trying to do something that's never been done before and prove it, it can be done. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I, have like I said, I've never done this before. So this is not a how to, this is not a follow what I'm doing. This is a please God work. Well, it could be a follow, but it work. Yeah. If it works really well, then yeah, I guess you can copy some of the stuff I'm doing, but I'm probably just going to kind of vlog style this thing so you can follow along and see this hopefully not wind up being a total mess where I have to throw away two bumpers. All right, so I do want to point out one thing before I get started on this. So I've cut this flare down to pretty much where the flare starts right there and goes into the bumper. I've tried to cut it as close as possible. Um, I did screw up earlier because we weren't sure if we were gonna use these lower lines. Um, so I cut straight through it. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually repairing my old bumper and trying to get this piece to fit back up so I can then mold this lower piece and have it look cool on the uh, on the bottom of the bumper like you saw earlier. Uh, so I gotta get this piece all cleaned up and cut and then hopefully successfully plastic weld that together. Okay, real quick. Cutting through plastic hurts. It burns a lot. Gets a whole bunch of black crap all over you. I'd probably put on a sweatshirt even though it's like 85 degrees. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do because I'm tired of getting covered in dust. Sorry. You know, I kind of fucked that up a little bit, but nothing we can't fix. I mean, we're having to fix a lot of shit. So, see why this would be a deal breaker here. That's all lined up. Ooh. Whatever. Now to, what, sand it? I don't fucking know. Did everybody eat yet today? Oh yeah. I forget. Remember it eat fresh? Yeah. Talking about that weird stomped avocado thing. Yeah, stomped avocados. Dude, flares suck to wrap. I'm gonna say that right now. Dude, flares suck to make. Flares suck. Why do we do this? Thing? So now I got the pieces all, all cleaned up. Um, went through and took the paint off the areas I want to join. Uh, Cause I'm going to actually be using a, a plastic welder. So I need to get that as perfect as I possibly can on all angles. Um, get it taped up. And for tape, I'm using actually ducting tape. That. So I picked this stuff up just from Lowe's. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it on the back side. All it is, it's, it's just ducting tape, it's like foil tape. Um, it's just strong and it'll hold the pieces together and not let it flex uh, while I'm filling the one side. Then I'll take this off the back side, um, put it on the other side and do the same thing from the inside. And hopefully that'll give a good bond if I do it correctly. I just want to give you an update on what I got so far. So I had to put this piece back together because um, I cut straight through it when I first did this. And then we realized this followed this body line super well. So we wanted to keep it. So I've got this thing all, all plastic welded up. Um, and on the outside using flexible resin, I've got it all uh, sanded down. It's all flat, can't feel it. So it looks good. Let me show you what it'll look like of where I want it right now. I did do the irreversible and I cut this bumper. So cut all of that off um, to mold this guy in there. So if I get it situated up kind of where I want it. So up top, I'm gonna be like dead on with that. Gonna follow it all the way down. And that line at the bottom is going to follow super well with this front line here. Um, so I'm gonna have to go up. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the other side first, which is even more of a bitch because I have no idea what I did with this one when I cut it. But uh, that's a lot more filling right there that I'm gonna have to do to bring this thing back to life. So I'm gonna get this one situated uh, and then I'm gonna do both sides at the same time. That way I can follow exactly what I'm doing uh, twice and just repeat the process. And that'll kind of ensure that both sides are gonna be the same, um, or at least as close to it as possible because they will have followed the same uh, process to get this thing going. Um, again, I gotta touch base on this. I have never done body work. I just researched a ton before doing this um, over like 48 hours and then decided to pull the trigger on this. But uh, hopefully this turns out good. That body line follows into this body line right here. Um, so the bumpers are pretty close to uh, similar as far as this back half. Um, so I'm gonna charge my camera to grab different uh, batteries for it. I gotta grab different batteries for my microphone too. And then I'll get to work and uh, try and make that side look like this side. Let's go. plastic welder warming up. Um, try to get this to where it's as uniform as possible on both sides. So I got it perfectly lined up. I've got this clamped at the bottom because that's where we have that big gap. Um, so I'm gonna just lay a bead of plastic weld up top to hold that in. Then I'm gonna take this uh, tape, put it all the way back and fill this. And as I fill it in the middle, I'm gonna plastic weld the sides to try and hold everything together. Um, just test it out once it dries and if it's good we should be okay to uh, just add more filler uh, just for rigidity and more of that flexible resin. So gonna let this warm up for a little bit and then hopefully do this thing without screwing anything up.
All right, so I got this side done. I had to use a ton more on this side than this side because this crack was like super tiny because it just cut through it. And this one, I was like, fuck it, YOLO, let's do it. And just kind of cut straight through it with a giant, got giant disc. I had a big old disc in there and just didn't care. I was like, I'm not using this. And then I realized I was going to use it. So yeah, got it all sealed up. It is sturdy. Now I'm going to take this one and do the same thing I did to this side. And that's painful to look at to that side. Just go through the steps I did, um, copy it, and I'm gonna put both these on at the same time so I follow the same process and hopefully it will be like dead on the same on both sides when I'm done. But uh, good luck to me. Thanks, bud. So the tab right here, I've got a point on and I've just followed that point with the other bumper. I made a second hole to be able to rivet this um, to hold the outback bumper on here and that should hold it kind of right where it needs to be. And I've cut down here, fitting the bumper up, just kind of tracing. So the legacy bumper tapers down right here. The outback bumper does not. So I had this, uh, this piece of the inner metal support bending downward. Um, so that's where that other little hole for a rivet came in and that'll hold it pretty much perfect to where I want it. Um, just right there. I'm going to have to shave this a little bit to fit better, but these lines actually meet up. So that's kind of step one right here is I cut this flush to where I'd be able to line these little angles up on top. And those are, those are going to be the marks that I follow to know I'm in the right spot. Um, cause they do match up on both sides, uh, for both this bumper and the Outback bumper. So that's like perfect fitment right there. Um, and then I'm going to go down, just shave this, clean it up. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work the lower portion yet, um, but that is something I'm going to figure out. And so currently what I'm trying to do, because I want to do both sides at once, um, that way everything's uniform and I know I'm doing it the exact same way on both sides, which should help out. I'm actually going to leave this one where it's at, um, use this as a reference for the other side and start doing this to the other side. Gucci. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing? This is hard to see. I don't have depth perception. Okay. I am wearing glasses, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I couldn't tell. A potato flew around the room. The other day. <laughs> now I just cut the fuck out of my fender flare. Nice dude. I just cut the fuck out of my rear ass bumper. What are we doing with our lives? I don't know. Why didn't I buy a legacy? I have a legacy. Why are we doing body work stuff? This is not what we do. This is not what we do. <laughs> so, what I was gonna do, I got this guy in one piece. He fits up. The fender's all cut for it. I've got the inside piece. The Legacies don't have this little lip here and it would look stupid with the lip there. So I'm gonna get rid of this lip by filling in this backside here with some stuff. Stuff. Stuff, that's the proper term. When I fill it in with the stuff, then I'm gonna sand it down to where this is gonna come in. And uh, hopefully complete that. I really could probably just cut this and then bend it down there and cut this section out and fill it. Which is another option. Did you say fill it? Fill it. I thought you were like, and kill it. I could cut right here, cut right there, and bend it, and then fill it, and then kind of fill it in. I don't know. That might be a better option, actually. A potato blew around. Look! Why would you start singing? That so song? many options. Oh no, I'm just gonna do it. So since the other stuff didn't work, I came up with this, uh, 
kind of good idea <clears throat> to heat up the existing plastic and actually clamp it to form it. I can sand that down to make it kind of have a nice transition, but it is flat now and it actually goes up at an L so it'll fit that um, and work well. I really like how that looked, but I was trying to press it with my fingers and this shit's like 500 degrees uh, once I once I use that. So I'm just going to come in on the inside. Like I said, this one's not pretty. This is the one that had that huge gap. Um, so I had to go through and I had to correct that gap. But uh, I'm going to go through, heat up um, just the inside part of this and then heat up the outside and I should be able to flatten it uh, just like this one. So you can see it doesn't look pretty right now, but it'll get sanded down. But I've flattened uh, just this spot right here. Up here, once I have this all set up, that's gonna be perfect. Uh, just lined up with that little mark on top. So that's how I know it's straight. Um, and the right distance apart. So down here, now this is all fitting in now that I've actually worked this um, this piece down here uh, into being flat instead of coming out. So this, this edge right here subtly goes away. Um, I can actually kind of groove that in there. So what I did is I cut it further down. Uh, just right here I cut further down. That way this inner piece right here would fit straight through that. So from the inside, that'll just sit in there without hitting anything. So that's going to allow me to um, seal up this and actually join the bumpers together. Uh, it's going to give the proper back spacing on this. Uh, and then I should be able to attach, um, should be able to attach this piece to the bumper um, I'll probably start out on bottom once I know that's all straight and then I'll do the same thing and flow form this uh, to where it actually meets up with the bottom part of the bumper before I seal that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised this worked so far, but uh, yeah, next step is actually making these two pieces be one. So I am excited. A little bit. Kind of scared. But nothing I can't just uh, like saw back through and redo again. Or I can just leave it like this. This doesn't look bad. So before I do this, because I'm going to put it on time lapse because this takes a little bit. Um, I've got two layers of this, uh, the, the ducting tape, um, the aluminum tape or whatever the hell it is. I've got two layers of that to hold it just perfect flush. On this side, you can see I've got like the perfect lineup on this. So I am super excited. That all kind of goes in flush, no issues. As long as I can pull this off, this should line up perfect. Um, the way that I'm doing the lower bumper, uh, like I said, I'll cut this from the backside as I go. What this is gonna do is this is actually going to move this whole arch out about an inch because this should sit in right here. Um, but I'm actually widening the bottom that way it's gonna sit a little bit uh, wider towards the front of the wheel. And the splitter that I have that I'm gonna put on this is actually for a GR. So they naturally have wider fronts. Um, so I had a little bit of a gap there. So I'm hoping this will fill in that gap and kind of bring stuff out right where I want it. And it's gonna make the car look more aggressive. So aside from just having this sweet bumper on there and uh, having the flares on the sweet bumper, uh, car's naturally gonna be wider. So I'm excited. I've got, I've got all this uh, plastic welded 
everything's in there. Um, plastic welded around this. I kept this area for rigidity, so it actually goes in on the bottom. And that's gonna allow it, it's gonna allow it to actually go down here, and that sits down just kind of like this front part. Um, so it, it looks nice. Test fitted on the car, it fits well. Uh, I've sanded all right here to try and get this as close as possible. It follows the line. Um, basically exactly how I want it, so. Once it gets painted, it's gonna look a hell of a lot better. Right now it looks fucking weird. I took this out a lot, so when I, and obviously I skipped a lot on this, but when I went through and welded this, I was able to pull this out on the bottom and that uh, just follows the wheel a lot better as it comes up. So once I get that all filled, it should look nice. Um, and then hopefully, I'll have somebody, I'm, I'm still reaching out to people trying to find someone who's able to paint this on Monday and hopefully get it back to me by uh, by Friday at the latest so I can have it on when we go to Big Northwest because I would prefer to have a bumper um, than not have one at all. But yeah, this is going pretty good. I'm going to line this side up, uh, do the same stuff. Um, I'm going to follow the exact way I did this one. That way it all comes out the same, or at least as close to it as I can. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's like uh, 11 o'clock right now. No, really? And yeah, and I've been spending the past, I think three days on this. So this is definitely a project. Uh, just trying to make everything as good as I possibly can make it. So I got this whole piece set up right where I want it. Uh, double check with the other side to make sure certain key points were right where they should be. This line's still going here. Um, I've got this intersecting at the right spot that when I pull this out, it's actually going to lift this up uh, and then be in the same spot as the other side. So um, it's getting late. Uh, I'm, I think I'll probably start plastic welding this tonight and then finish it in the morning. Um, and then that'll allow me to, after I get back from a place we're going tomorrow, uh, I should be able to fill all this and then hopefully just have the sanding in that, making it look not pretty, but making it look uh, ready for paint. <laughs> guys so we wound up getting everything done in time uh, I didn't have enough time to film it all because uh, we were on a huge time crunch I wound up getting the bumper back painted on Friday uh, just a couple of days before Big Northwest um, so huge time crunch on that and I wound up spending about 48 hours um, basically sleeping about two hours a day uh, trying to knock that car out before Big Northwest um, it was a success. It was super cool. We wound up actually taking home uh, first place for the 2000 to 2009 Outback and Legacies. Um, and then just big shout out to uh, Tina, um, especially because she was able to pull through last minute, find me a place that would be able to sand and paint that bumper. Um, and then obviously everybody else at the Mod Garage, Brian, uh, Ryan for being able to Get us a super cool mansion that we only spent about five hours in or so because uh, we wound up getting there so late. We wound up just meeting a whole bunch of you guys. Uh, I wound up with people who knew me even though I have like 300 subscribers uh, just knowing me from Smedia so that was super cool. Um, and just all around it was a great experience so uh, definitely we'll be back next year. The uh, content I'm going to try and put more out for you guys here soon uh, but yeah. 
all I got for you this time. I'll see you in the next one. Later.